Yeah. So I know a while back I was, I talked about having a miscarriage and I, um, you know, was very hopeful that we would get pregnant, you know, soon after we were, we were doing the, the strips and all the things. Um, and it just wasn't happening for us. There was even a day I was like, I know that I'm ovulating. We hit the mark and it still uh, just wasn't happening for us. So we have started our first medicated cycle um, since Weston. So we're very hopeful that the first round works. Um, but I had to take letrozole for five days and that just helps mature multiple um, eggs. So after after uh, five days of that, they I did an ultrasound and they saw five five follicles that were maturing and two that were that looked really well. One that was twenty. I don't know if it's millimeters. I don't know what measurement they do. And the other one was eighteen on the other side. So they gave me a trigger shot that forces ovulation, um, and then you just have timed sex after that or in a, like a few days after, and then then you just wait. Uh, they also gave me progesterone. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but for, to take for 14 days mm -hmm. because they said my uterine lining was thin, um, thinner than they would like to see. And I will say that my periods have been a lot lighter um, recently. And also, you know, when they said that, I'm like, oh, maybe that's why. I mean, you always wonder why, like you had a, like if you had a miscarriage, like why did it happen? And part of me is like, well, maybe that's why it just didn't have a great place to embed if that makes sense so mm -hmm, totally yeah that's what we're going through now and we're in the two-week wait so it's always not 